After nearly a decade of absence from the muscle car game, Chevy gifted enthusiasts the fifth generation Camaro in 2009. We loved the sound, we loved the fun of the car, but quirks remained. It was too heavy, the packaging wasn't great, and it just didn't handle that well. Yes, the ZL1 and the 1LE and the Z28 improved things, but it still wasn't a car that we were in love with. Now we have the sixth generation Camaro. <laughs> Weight drops by over 200 pounds, and the exterior dimensions are tidier. The SS's LT1 V8 puts up 455 horsepower now. We're at Ginger Man Raceway on a beautiful fall afternoon, and we want to see if the new SS is the track car we want it to be, or do we need to once again wait for the hotter versions for a Camaro that we really want to own. Thanks to the switch from the hold-in platform to GM's latest Alpha platform, weight drops by, according to GM, 223 pounds. You definitely feel it. It's still a heavy car. But, you know, as always, the car sounds fantastic. When you're really pushing the car, especially in the high-speed corner, you feel that weight. High-speed understeer is a bit annoying, but low-speed oversteer is quite easy. You want to do that all day long. You just want to slide it around all day long. You know, the nice way to get around understeer is just to boot it. You know, the track enthusiast is going to want to wait for the hotter versions, but for the guy who wants to occasionally go to the track and have some fun, the SS is way better than the old SS. The six-speed manual transmission shifts decently well. The eight-speed automatic is optional, but you know, with a muscle car, you can't get an automatic. You need a manual. So a new option on the Camaro SS is the magnetic ride suspension. It used to only be offered on the supercharged ZL1 model. It can adjust the suspension up to a thousand times a second, and through the drive mode selector, you can vary its degree of stiffness. Camaro SS comes with four piston Brembos front and rear. We were able to get a little fade out of them when really pushing the car. But again, the SS isn't necessarily focused to be a hardcore track car. So for the given purpose, you know, they work pretty well. So inside the Camaro, things are far better than the old car. The details inside are lovely. From the vents that also serve as the temperature adjustment, to the high-res screen and the ventilated seats, all the buttons, they're nice. The biggest disappointment inside the Camaro are the seats. These are the only available seats in the Camaro, and unlike the Mustang, which offers optional Recaros, you're stuck with these. And they don't offer any lumbar adjustment, they're too soft, they don't give you much support. Considering the performance bump of the new Camaro, Chevy really should have put in a better seat, or again, at least made a seat optional with more support. So as I finish up my day in the 2016 Camaro SS, I really start thinking about the future high performance versions. I think about, you know, more power. Not that this SS is short on power at all, but I think about a supercharged ZL1 version. I think about the hotter track-oriented Z28. And with the switch to the new platform and with the sophistication of the new car, I think it's going to be a heck of a car. The old fifth generation Camaro, they were always sort of battling the intrinsic shortcomings of that Holden platform. But now with the Alpha platform, you have a, a sophisticated, excellent base to build on. And I think that's what's most exciting about the new Camaro is to think about what more we have coming.